Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Today we're talking about a fragrance from the House of Kerosene. They have a lot of fragrances in their lineup. I think they have about 14 fragrances, if I'm correct. I've tried um, Summer of 84, which is one of my favorites from the lineup. It has a sea salty summer feel, like I would say Dolce Gabbana light blue, oh intense, but a little bit more heavier, more death, more thicker, and I like that one a lot. Shout out to Jeff for letting me borrow this fragrance for review. Thank you so much, Jeff. Um, I appreciate it a lot, man. I will see you soon to give your bottle back to you. Nevertheless, today we're talking about Unknown Pleasures by the House of Kerosene. This fragrance here has a cool presentation with the little bag here and it says Unknown Pleasures by Kerosene. Pretty cool. This is a 100 ml bottle and it retails for $140. If you want to get samples, you can get three samples of your choice for $18 or all 1.5 ml. And if you want to collect all the fragrances as samples, it's going to cost you $56. And these fragrance has 1.5 mils in it. So not too bad. They're not sprayers, they're dabbers. So keep that in mind. Your presentation. Nice presentation. I'll zoom in a second. It says Unknown Pleasures. Gold plaque. Pretty nice. Heavy. By Kerosene. Black. All blackout bottle. Cap is black. You can see the juice up top, which is pretty cool. I'm going to spray this on a test strip to let you know how I feel about it. And after I do that, I'll go over a note breakdown. Sprayers are awesome. Shoots out a lot. The cap just clicks down, but it's not magnetic, but I wouldn't pick it up by the cap. I feel like it might fall and break your bottle. This fragrance opens up very fresh in the opening. What I mean by that is a note breakdown in this fragrance. We have a lemon, caramel, vanilla. We have earl green tea, bergamot, tonka bean, honey, and waffle cone. So this opens up with that fresh lemony opening. So you're gonna get a very nice fresh blast of lemony opening, which is very awesome. It's very fresh in the opening. There's a freshness about this fragrance for somewhat of the fragrance, and then it turns right into a sweet, I would say slash gourmand type of fragrance. What I mean by that is the vanilla and the caramel come together and blend very well. Gives it a nice sweet um, edible type of feel where you really wanna literally bite, bite this off of your skin, it smells that good where you want to eat it. It's just, it's that type of a smell. Now I'm not saying everybody will like this fragrance because some people don't like gourmand fragrances. And this leans very, very heavy in your face as a fragrance. Middle of the fragrance, you're definitely going to pick up more of the vanilla and the caramel in the fragrance. Now I pick up a little bit of the tea, but not really tea. Mainly this fragrance is based on the gourmand notes like vanilla and caramel and honey. I don't pick up the honey like other people do. M mainly I pick up caramel and vanilla as the heaviest base notes in this fragrance here from the mid to the dry down. Now some of the dry down I do pick up a little tonka bean but not really. Like I said it's mainly the other two notes that I talked about already that are mainly in this fragrance. So this is what you're going to get. You're going to get a fresh opening fragrance for, for the first I would say hour or so. Then it calms down. It goes right into a sweet heavy vanilla caramel type of feel fragrance. So if you like gourmand type of fragrances, this is right up your alley. Performance. So for me personally, um, this projects very heavy. I'm talking two to three hours of full arm length um, projection. This is heavy, so please be careful with the sprays. I did five sprays and it was way too much. I felt like I was choking myself out wearing this fragrance. Now I do five sprays because I want to test the fragrance out on my skin and on my neck. So I did three sprays on my neck, two sprays on my wrist, and it was just radiating off my skin crazy and it was too much. Now my girlfriend does not like this fragrance and it's fine. I just want to give you guys her perspective. Some fragrances she likes, some fragrances she doesn't. She felt like it was like very sweet. It was too much. It was like the sweetness and the freshness was combined and wasn't the best. She didn't like it, but Nevertheless, it's just sometimes she doesn't like every single fragrance that I try or review, but what I'm trying to say is that it's not everybody's cup of tea. Longevity, easy, eight hours plus. You spray this fragrance on, it lasts and lasts and lasts. I'm only saying eight hours because by the eight hour mark, I'm ready to wash the fragrance off. I get eight hours consistently with a fragrance, or all the time, I'm happy with the fragrance. If I get more, that's a plus, which you're gonna get more than eight hours, but eight hours is the critical point where I'm done I'm done trying to smell anymore. I write down eight hours, then I do my notes, and that's it. It's eight hours plus, so you can get nine, 10 hours, maybe more. You're gonna get at least eight hours on your skin. Especially for a gourmand type of fragrance, that's a plus in my book. Season occasions. 
So if me personally, this is gonna lean more of the fall and winter type of fragrance that has that freshness in the open where you could maybe pull it off, maybe a cool spring night. I would not wear this in the summertime, it's a no-go. This is a great um, fragrance maybe for the cold summer like spring, more mainly um, fall and winter. Because this fragrance will shine better in the colder months. It's gonna project, it's gonna get great longevity, and you might garner a few compliments wearing this fragrance as well. Occasions, I feel like this is a great dressed up fragrance. Maybe you're going on a date, or, or you're going out with your significant other. This is a great fragrance if they like sweet based fragrances. They're gonna like this fragrance here. I wouldn't wear this fragrance to work unless you feel like you can wear whatever you want to work and nobody's gonna be offended by it or it's too heavy. But I would, I would stay away from wearing this to work. It's too heavy where you might get called into the boss's office or people might be offended by this heavy, sweet fragrance. So just keep that in mind, just recommendations before you decide to wear this to work. But by all means, if you feel like you can wear it to work and nobody's not gonna say anything, by all means, spray it and go. Just be careful with your sprays and just respect your coworkers. They don't want to smell a beast mode fragrance all day at work, especially if they're not in the fragrances. Ratings and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm going to give this fragrance a 7 out of 10. Um, the reason why I'm giving it 7 out of 10 is because, first off, the price of 140 a little bit high for a niche fragrance, but at the same time, the performance is amazing, so I have to give it that seven mark. You know what I mean? Performance is out of this world. You can rest assured that you don't need many sprays, with this fragrance here, two, three sprays, you're good to go um, to get through the day at work. I'm gonna deduct a few points because I won't get a perfect 10 because you can't wear this in the summer, so it's not a versatile fragrance where you can wear it all year round. I would say fall, winter, maybe a little bit in the early spring, but you gotta cut it off there. By summertime, you gotta find a freshy type of fragrance, which I would recommend by Kerosene Summer 84, a perfect summer-based fragrance slash spring fragrance. At the end of the day, um, this fragrance is a good fragrance if you like gourmand fragrances. You want to smell different than your regular sweet fragrances on the market. Maybe you have a higher budget to buy a fragrance and you don't like what's on the designer world at your Macy's, Sephora, Nordstrom, and you want to smell totally different, this is a fragrance for you. Now it's $140, so keep that in mind. I suggest buying samples from the website first, and if you like the fragrance, then commit to a full bottle, because $140 is a lot for a 100 ml bottle, especially if you haven't smelled it before. So definitely do your research, check out the note breakdown, buy yourself a sample. They're 18 bucks for three fragrances. You can choose your three you want, this and two other fragrances, and try them out on your skin. And if it smells good and your significant other likes it, it's a win, buy it. If it doesn't, check out other fragrances from the Kerosene line. I think you're gonna enjoy any one of the fragrances that they have. If you tried Kerosene, um, this is Unknown Pleasure. Leave a comment down below. What's your favorite kerosene fragrance? I know Dr. Fragrance has a whole bunch of favorite ones, so I'm gonna leave a YouTube channel down below. If you wanna learn more about this brand, definitely go subscribe to this channel as well. If you watch another fragrance video, if you like this type of content and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate that. And make sure you click the like button if you like this content and would like to see more of it in the future. And make sure you click the bell icon for future videos and giveaway announcements as well. Be safe, I care about every single one of you. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.